Hi everyone, Emma here. I have an order from Pearls and Company, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah, it's in French, so it's spelt P-E-R-L-E-S N Co. So let's take a look. And they sent me a gift. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm like, yeah, I use these. So it's great. It's a nice little pocket size. So let's take a look. Now I have, they sent it in this bag, but it was in regular baggies. But I put it in these blue organza bags so that I could identify what was what. Because otherwise it would have been all over the place, like the different... So this is the first one. Oh, my camera's doing its own thing here. It's because I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, let me see, let me see. I've had these on my desk for two weeks. <laughs> but I wanted to do bracelet making videos. But if you watch the medical update, I actually got a call yesterday to say that they're going to do the surgery tomorrow. So I thought I'd like to kind of get this off my desk and I want to show you guys anyway and this is an opportunity for me to look at stuff because I put them in baggies I, I can see through the baggies but I don't actually pull them out and touch them and look at them and so it's exciting to do that with you so these are bridge three so they've got three holes and um, here's the other thing with this uh, store is these bags are really good bags. They recycle them. So now, I mean, the point of recycling is to, for the environment, if you're sending these bags to recycle them across the ocean, it's probably not, you're not doing much good, but... So I'll have to check that. I I just pulled this one out because this one's um a bit wonky. Oh, it's missing the hole down there. Let me see. Sometimes that happens and this still has the right count. Oh, it's a 10 gram, so it doesn't matter. Never mind. So these are lovely. And I've seen some um Diane sent me some friend mail and she sent me some of these. I think they're black. And I don't know, I might have that bracelet here. I try to keep current bracelets on my desk so I can show you, for example. But no, I think that one got... No, it's here! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, it was a different... It was a different bead. I was thinking of these guys. So this was... This is um, herringbone. And then the middle is these... Um, Parpukas, I think they call them. So these are lovely. So they can they can kind of do the same thing. They can outline the bead. It's hard to do this. Here, let's do it on the mat. Let's hoy the mat. So you can do it something like that and have a bead in the middle or a cabochon in the middle. So and you can't go wrong with gold, so that's why I tend to go with a gold. So yeah, I am, um, <laughs> believe it or not, talking to you guys on camera doing an unboxing is calming me down. <laughs> you would think I'm like so excited. I'm like jumping around. Okay, so I got some super duos. I was trying to figure out why I had them in a baggie. So this is great. So I did. Might as well get that bracelet out. Oh, you know what? I have it in a, a project bin over here. So it's so funny. I will do a bracelet and do a video and show you guys how to make it. And then I put it aside and then I come across beads and I think, oh, I should do a bracelet with that. I'm like, wait a minute, didn't I do one? And then I look, I'm like, that's really pretty. I'm like, yeah, that's why you made it. So this was the one I made. Let me um, open this up here. So this was the one I made, and it's really gorgeous. I feel like there's not enough light here. 
So it turned out really nice. And the idea is you, so these are two sided, two colors for the um, super duo and the colors on each side. So you adjust, you like lay your beads on so that the colors create a, you know, a diagram or a, a look. So this one turned out really nice. And I talked about potentially putting a, can enlarge this now, oops, so it, um, putting a bicone here or a pearl, um, as well as you can put something different in the middle. But this one turned out really nice. So I wanted to buy some more beads like that because I never used to, the designs that I've seen for these are usually black and white. And I'm like, am I really going to wear a black and white bracelet? Probably not. Be unusual. So every once in a while I come across some colors. I'm like, ooh, that color looks good. So actually I didn't realize I had bought some gray and black. And I know that I got these for men's bracelets. So I was just getting ready to do a bracelet design for men. And I have this incredible bead that has this silver on it and gray, uh, etched, aged black, white lab, it's called. So, yeah. I bought these colors. These are navy and ivory. So I wanted to give it like an antique look. So let's take a look at these. Oh, there's those are nice. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. This reminds me of like sailor uniforms with like the the blue collar and the the um ivory color of the fabric or like the New York Yankees retro uniform. I used to have a New Year's Yankee, an old, old jersey that I used to wear. I have a sister that's a fashion designer, and she would come across clothes like that, and she's like, do you think you'd wear that? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, so we used to get some really cool clothes from her, so I don't know. Um, oh, I did do the prices on these. They were a good price. Um, let me see if it, they may be in twos here. Round duos. Okay, super duos at the bottom. So they were two dollars and sixty cents, which is about the equivalent of American two sixty. So that's about the price for these. Let me see if it gets a better light. There we go. So that's the blue leave that out and then they had turquoise and ivory dark and the ivory the dark looks like almost like a Picasso oh these are gorgeous <gasps> no way I love that terracotta inside the bead now it's funny I think sometimes that that terracotta inside is actually a dust they put on so they can get the get them off the rods so that for the holes but that's amazing and I've I've um, gotten like that chalky stuff on my hands and on my thread and stuff that is really beautiful Wow that is a nice nice color mix So I got two of those. They're the same price. And then these ones looked really interesting, but it was hard to see. So emerald semi bronze luster. Um, looking at them in the bag, they look okay. Not my fave. And actually looking at them, I feel kind of the same way. But I have a thing about clear like translucent beads 
So here's one that's got no luster on it at all. So I, I don't know. I think maybe they look a bit plastic to me when I put it together, but I think with this bronze luster, it'll look really nice. And if I accent it with some bronze beads, it will make a big difference. So there we go. Oh, I'm just I'm putting them in the wrong place. I want to leave them out for the end so we can see. So, I have to say, I bought these in my last order with them. And they are amazing. And what did I put them on? I put them on a bracelet. And they look incredible. Let me see here. I don't think I don't think I'm trying to think if it was a giveaway that I put it on. I don't see it handy here. Oh, I, maybe this one? Nope. Okay, I'm sure it'll come to me. But anyway, let's take a look. So these are um, gold-plated and silver-plated, and there's 50 in there. Um, they are 2 by 3 size. So I like to put them at the end of a bracelet before you put your clasp. And let me get a needle to show you. So they're faceted. They're beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Just lovely. So let's put that back in and I'll show you the silver ones. So um, they weren't very expensive, although when you see 50, that's how much 50 is. <laughs> You're like, where's my beads? They shrunk. So. Look at that. It's not amazing. That's so pretty. <laughs> it's so nice. So my sister's been uh, sending me little short messages because she's sh coming on uh, Monday. She's so excited to see my beads. <laughs> I told her, I said, you're going to pass out. I think anybody that walked into my office would pass out. Like my wife, she doesn't like coming into my office because it just makes scares her. She thinks maybe i'm on the way to being a hoarder so, <laughs> so these are silver plated super duos and they're come in 10 gram bags they're gorgeous so i had bought some gold plated ones from art beads and i used them for special bracelets for my nieces and um so that's what i keep them for they're expensive but I keep them for like a special gift occasion where I'm making a very special bracelet. And I mean, 10 grams, that's a good amount. I still have the two tubes and I've made myself a bracelet with them. So you get a lot in it. And let me see if I can find the... So there was two silver and... Four gold. So let's look for a two and a four. Um, super duo gold plated, silver plated was uh, five dollars, and it's funny the gold plated was cheaper by like forty cents. So let's take a look at the gold. Oops.
Look at that. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Now, I wish that I could get this color just regular super duo but I find the golds tend to be like they don't have a shiny gold super duo if they do I never see them um so yeah like I get the the silver ones that are usually like full Labrador they call it so if you ever see the gold color let me know in the super duo because I'd like to get a stash they're beautiful Yeah. Let's move my needle here. And well these didn't have labels. So then we have these. Look at these. Isn't that amazing? So the holes are let's look at it from the bottom up. So there's three holes on each side and it's kind of graduated like that. So there's one hole there, one hole there, one hole there. Oh, these holes are different. I better show you how the holes run in these. So there's the loop and then the same on each side. They're smooth. Let's get the needle here. So if you put your needle through this corner, oh, go straight across. Okay, and then go to the next hole, goes through those, and then the next hole goes through the bottom. I was thinking this looked crooked, but it's actually my needle, so just ignore that. So yeah, so these are gold plated as well. A lot of the Symbols uh, products are silver and gold plated. Here's the silver one. So these are not super shiny. They look a bit almost like a frosted. They're still beautiful. They're nice and sturdy like the loop part. Look at how big it is. And then, so I got some of these, and if you watch the other video from Red Panda, I got these as well. So I think, I don't know how that worked, whether the prices were different, or I was just having a manic moment and forgot that I ordered it from the other store, that kind of thing. These are beautiful. And there's the gold. Oh, the golds are amazing. Oh, that's so awesome. There's more. These are all stuck together. They're magnet. So these are um, Nisidia. I think they're called. Look at these. Isn't that amazing? Now they're heavy. So I didn't realize they'd be this heavy. And I'm a little leery about what I put it on. You don't want your class to be so heavy. It always falls to the bottom of your wrist. So let's show you. How that opens there, but the magnet is 
super strong. So there's the holes to attach to your bracelet. And then it has these little posts that fit into the opposite side so that it stays connected. It won't pull apart. And super strong magnet. So let's take a look at how strong this magnet is. Let's see. I can you can feel it, yeah, moving. So it's quite a bit. Oh, that's amazing. Huh. That is really pretty. Let me see how much these guys are. Because I'm pretty sure these are a little bit more expensive. Okay, so they're only, uh, it's $5 for a clasp. So it's a little more than, like normally I wouldn't keep a stash of $5 class because that's a lot of money to put out. But I knew, <laughs> I've seen some of their stuff, so I knew the incredible quality and the beautiful filigree on it. So I was like, ah, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. So it says it's for um, Rokai beads. Eidos, but I would use it on anything. That is lovely. That that is really well done. These are amazing, and they have like little posts inside to hold the magnet in so that's really cool too because I've bought some magnetic clasps with these little round magnets and they didn't even glue them in so I went to make a bracelet and it came apart I was like why is it coming apart and I realized the magnet was stuck to the other side it had just come right out so I have to go through and glue all my magnets <laughs> I'm like okay like me more work. <laughs> Those are lovely. Yummy, yummy. So, oh, and there's a rose gold. I have to show you that one. For sure. <laughs> awesome it's like money oh this is so beautiful wow so you can see the color difference between the two unbelievable okay then we have these guys so these are, um, I'm pretty sure these are gold plated, but I could be wrong. These are really pretty. So this is a different design of the ginkgo with this really neat uh, graphic example. It's one sided, so the other side is smooth. And you can see the holes at the top. And at the bottom, so just like a ginkgo. Those are pretty. These are like 80 cents or something like that. And then they have the silver, silver plated. Those are beautiful. Really, really nice. I have a bunch of these, but they're earring posts, and it was. I ordered them because I wanted these and I couldn't get these so I was going to clip the earring post off but now that I have some I can make some earrings with the others. And then I bought a bag full of these ones. Um, these are gold tone and they were 60 0.63 of a euro so um, 
I ordered some from Red Panda that are, so these are gold tone. The Red Panda ones are gold plated. They look identical. I don't, you know, understand. And I would think these come from Symbol. So they, I thought they only did gold plated. So I don't know if it's a language thing that I'm missing. You know, it says gold tone. So anyway, um, they're still lovely. I will use them for sure. And uh, yeah, but definitely you could get these at um, Red Panda. That's where I got my others. And they're 24 karat gold plated. And they ended up being the same price. So there you go. That is, oh wait, there's more. Wouldn't be the first time I finish a video. I'm like, there's a whole bunch that, that I missed. <laughs> like, how did I miss that? So, okay. So I've been doing a bracelet design using herringbone stitch. And it was a design that I saw Allie make from Potomac Beads. And you insert a uh, round duo in between your two rows of herringbone. So you get this, you know, you need the two holes, right? And I didn't have any, so now I tend to look for them. These are beautiful. These are called um, opaque green ceramic look. And oh my God, they're really gorgeous. They do look like ceramic. Wow, they are lovely. I have some um, Picasso beads that I should do some herringbone and put these in between that would look amazing okay and then they had bronze again I try and get the metallics because it'll match pretty much anything and they are beautiful. So I should show you, if you didn't see it in the last one, the double hole. So there's one hole there, and right here is the other hole. And you know what? I'll do it with the silver. You'll be able to see better. These are five millimeter, in case you're wondering. And it's a good thing I have a tray here a um, my lap or my uh, keyboard tray catches all the beads sometimes I'll look and look on the floor and I realize it's, it's in my uh, keyboard tray so these are the silvers the full Labrador or Labrador oh my god these are gorgeous Oh, these are these look like silver plated. They're so gorgeous. So you can see the two holes. So if you're doing herringbone, one row here, one row there, and then you put your bead in, then when you go to add your second row of herringbone after you've attached the bead, then you go through the second hole. So it just fits really nicely that way. Now I have done it with single hole beads. Oh, and this one looks like there's no hole. It's clogged. Um, so yeah, I've done it with um, single hole beads and you can do it. And what I've done with the single hole beads is I've put like a, a 50 no every time I go through and come out of the bead. So there's your herringbone, 50 no, your five millimeter bead, 50 no, your herringbone and then when you come back to do your second row on top of that and go through if you were going through a second hole on that five millimeter bead but you're going through the same hole you add a 50 no go through the hole 50 no so the the little 50 no's will sit like this it looks like there's two holes so it's great and I think that's it yeah those are all the same 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 because I ordered two of everything. So I roll. <laughs> There's my lovelies. <laughs> 
thanks for joining me and I'll keep you posted on my um, progress with my surgery tomorrow and uh, yeah take care everybody and thanks again for all your wonderful support get me through this crazy time and uh, we'll see you in the next video bye